Hi. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the amazing rhythmic groove locked, tempo locked, auto gating power of Tremolator. What? Tremolator does auto gating? Oh yeah, check it out. Okay, we're just gonna jump right into the basics because it's super easy and you'll be auto gating like a champ in no time at all. Let's start with the effect rack. Uh, I'm going to be using it on this uh, little loop, which is a drum beat and a pad. I'm just going to do the auto gating just on the pad part, so we got a little <laughs> going on. Uh, so let's start off like this. Uh, you open effect track because you want to add things later, of course. Uh, if I haven't already said that, I probably did. But uh, toss in Tremolator. It's already locked to MIDI. It's already ready to go. In fact, it's already kind of doing its thing on a pulsey. So you're almost there. Now, if you want it to be auto gaty effect, well, the rhythmic events are based on the shape that you've chosen. So let's choose a square, which is very choppy and gitty, right? And you're auto gating. You want to do some very quick changes. You can change the rhythms over here with the up and down arrows if you wish. So. Uh, And there's more in the list here if you go in. So super easy, you're an auto gator. Congratulations. All right, this is where it starts getting way cool and still incredibly simple. Let's open that tweak menu and check out the fully programmable rhythm editor available to you. Bam! All right, well, it is selected on eighth notes, which is what we had up here, and square wave. Uh, you can see it, we talked about the shape being whatever you've chosen, and that's what happens. There's ramp down, so your rhythm is now on ramps like this. Or up. We'll stick to square but what this rhythm editor is so cool because guess what there's eighth notes but if you click on one of those guys it goes away maybe you click on that one too <laughs> cool yes it is cool and you can change the note values down here on the grid bam so there's 16th notes and i can go in and drop in 16th notes in those gaps i'm going to leave a little gap there Oh my gosh, man, you can use the modifier key, which is the option key on Mac, and it's the other key on a PC. I'll put it in the notes. Uh, and you can change the depth of these events and the length of the events within the note. <laughs> Just watch. I'm holding the option key, and I grab this event, and I make it less impactful, and I'm making it shorter. I'm going to do the same thing to this event and make it shorter. I'm going to leave this one uh, as the same length as it is, but I'm just going to make it barely happen here. Ready? Crazy, crazy cool. And again, that's uh, the rhythm is kind of on its own. You can still change your shape to whatever you want. All right, and I can take that rhythm and I can save it. My stutter. And that is saved into my rhythm library. I can call it up whenever I want to in Tremolator, in Filter Freak, in Phase Mistress, and use those same rhythms over there because that's our main rhythm library. That's way cool, huh? All right, uh, well, stay tuned. We're going to check out some other cool features. Just keep digging in deeper and deeper, but it's still easy, right? All right, check it out. 
Next, we're going to take a look at giving it a little groove, all right? Yeah, awesome. So we've got our basics going again. Right? So let's go over here to this groove knob and see what it does. Little swing, little shuffle the other way. So you can lock it to tempo, you can lock it to groove. Okay, so we got a cool new uh, custom rhythm going, our own programmed rhythm. I'm gonna shift it back over here to square wave. And uh, we looked at groove, we can still add groove to that. But we didn't look at feel. Feel lets me shift the whole thing. So if you've got a rhythm that it, this needs to hit just a little bit earlier, we can move it back with or forward with feel. You can see it in the editor there, moving to its new space. I'll move it. Let's move it back just a little and see if it tightens up just a bit. Yeah, just a little bit of that. Now it really comes in handy if I happen to be shifting. I have a sine wave here. I can move this feel knob so that my sine rhythm is hitting at the top of that. A little funky, but uh, you get the picture. If you need to move things around to get it dropped into the particular pocket of your groove, then you use the feel knob to make that happen. Cool. Okay, we're going to take a look at changing your wave shapes to get just the right feel uh, for your auto-gating groove. There's several ways to go about that. The first one's super easy. I'm starting with square, and it's nice. Right? All right, we got that going on. But I want it to not be quite as harsh. Well, if you start with a square wave, the simple way to do that is to grab the smoothing control and unsmooth it right there and then we've got a square that's more of a but that's kind of made it a little too stuttery I need a little more openness in it so you can go and grab any of these points in the editor it's completely user friendly uh, and move them so I'm going to drag this one out all the way to the end. So now I have kind of a rampy square. Or I could go the same, the other direction to come from is say, hey, I want to, I'm going to start with my uh, ramp down. So I've got kind of a more of a synthy feel to it, but I want it to have more impact too. I can put a point on there and give it. I can add a point on here and make it shorter. I can do crazy stuff. I can put another point on and make it start going back up near. And I like that, but you, <laughs> <laughs> you can click, use your option key, click on that point, and it goes away. Ha <laughs> ha! So awesome. Couple more tricks coming up uh, to get the most out of it. Uh, stay tuned. Okay, uh, we've got our rhythm going here, but let's get let's go further. Uh, we haven't even talked about these things down here. What's all this mean down here? Well, it means you can have multiple bar rhythms up to oh my gosh it just keeps uh, 32 bars long absolutely you can uh, but i'm going to roll it back down i want to do two bars all right because i like my rhythm uh, but i want a little more i want something else to happen with this groove right all right so i'm going to switch to looking at bar two which is currently empty i'm going to throw some events in there and i'm gonna let's do uh 
quarter note. Let's do uh, some eighth notes in there. One, two, and then let's do some thirty-second notes right at the end. So we get a. For, wait a minute. Let's let's do let's mix this. Let's switch the screen over and do uh, thirty-second or sixteenth note triplets. How about that? All right, that feels cool. Now let's go back and edit We're using our option key like we did before to get some uh, interesting stuff, make some of these events not. Let's make that little trill at the end rise up. And this one's going to go down. All right, now here's our two bar pattern. Cool, and that can be saved. And your custom wave shapes, you can save those into your library too. So if you've made your, this is your favorite wave shape of all time, you can totally save that and call it up in any of those plugins. Now, let's take a look at two cool tricks to add some punch and a way to kind of utilize this uh, for some remix techniques. Uh, the, the first cool trick is this width button here. Uh, it offsets the two channels uh, so that you get a little bit of a, well, Listen to this. It's headphones might be a good idea. Now that's a lot of offset, but just a little bit gives you nice little stereo feel. Now, if we want to pump this up and give it a little extra punch, uh, I'm going to switch my analog style over here to squash, and I'm going to drive the input up and pull the output back a little bit. And this is what I get. I'm going to turn the output up just a little bit. All right. So cool. Now, since I started with Effect Rack, I can use the mix knob to kind of mix this in as a little effect. All right, so. Cool. And of course, you know, you if you want to do, you toss your Echo Boy in at the end or whatever. And, So congratulations, you are now the master of auto-gating with Sound Toys 5, Effect Rack, and the incredible Trumulator. Thank you.